guy. It's just the new resident. The crazy one. Yeah, he's nuts. Always on drugs and alcohol. Don't mind him. He's probably out of it anyway. Everyone who lives here is fucked up anyway. Fuck him. Let's move on. Did you see what the batshit crazy old bitch did yesterday? Oh, I know, I know. I've seen her. Oh, shut up, you cancer-breathing microwave. No one wants to hear it from you or your toasted brain. Hey, watch it with the toasting remarks. Anyway, I hear she's been walking around the house completely naked. Like a fucking whore. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding me? What the hell's wrong with this old hag? Will you shut up? I'm trying to get some sleep here. Oh, boo hoo! Big guy needs his sleep. By the way, you guys have been repeating the same walking around naked semi joke for months now. I have some real news for you guys. Oh, yeah? What's that, you twat? You're stuck with me. Don't you remember? I think if you'd had some news, I'd have heard it along with you. Yeah, right. You're sleeping 16 hours a day. My sources whisper me some great stuff. Your source is my ass. You're talking about that broom. You can't trust a broom, I tell you. Oh, quit your whining, big guy. Let us hear about the news. I heard. And saddle up. It's big news. I heard that the old woman murdered her husband in cold blood. <gasps> Not only that, but I heard that she plunged seven knives in his chest, and that he's sitting dead in his study room. How crazy is that? Holy oh, oh, fucking shit. I could have told you. Oh, that's what that smells. It's exactly right. We could have told you.
What took you so long, George? You know when tea time is, and yet you always find a way to be late. Were you in your study room again, scribbling nonsense and talking to your recorder? I'm beginning to think you love your work more than me. I know you tire of me. Oh, yes. I know you'd have me gone in a heartbeat if you could. It's just... I'm... I'm sorry. I'm just tired. Would you be a doll and fetch me some of my special tea? You know where it is. I'll wait here, George. I fear that Dolores is getting worse by the day. Her temperaments are extremely bipolar. She gets easily upset over small things, almost always immediately followed by self-resentment and the asking for forgiveness. It's getting harder to cope with her outbursts, but my love for her is strong still, and I'll do whatever it takes to help her overcome her condition. Oh, oh no. I'm gonna be late for tea. Where did I put that damned attic hook?
I knew it. <sighs> I'll show you, you damned scoundrel, what bread you're worth. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> 